Did you ever think that the small decisions you make every day could have a huge impact on your life? What about that cheeseburger you had for lunch? What about your failed New Year's resolution to exercise? Or that nasty smoking habit you picked up? These are all big contributors to developing cardiovascular disease in your life. We need you to prevent cardiovascular disease. There are four types of cardiovascular disease. The first is arteriosclerosis. This is a general way to describe the hardening and narrowing of the arteries. This prevents your organs from receiving necessary blood. Atherosclerosis, a specific type of arteriosclerosis, is a fatty plaque buildup that can start in childhood. The second is coronary heart disease. This occurs when many arteries are blocked due to atherosclerosis. When a major coronary artery is totally blocked, it can cause chest pain and eventually a heart attack if a blood clot occurs. The third type of cardiovascular disease is a stroke. Strokes occur when blood cannot reach the brain. This happens when there are blood clots or if there is atherosclerosis. Side effects of strokes can include memory loss, minor paralysis, or vision and speech impairment. Death is also a possible outcome. And last but not least, our fourth type of cardiovascular disease is hypertension. Hypertension is when your blood pressure is abnormally high. There are two types of hypertension. The first is when your heart is resting, and this is called diastolic. The second type of hypertension is when your heart is beating, and this is called systolic. The risks, things that you can change and things that, well, you just can't. Things you can change, your physical activity level. By increasing your exercise, you can improve your blood pressure, your cholesterol level, and your body weight. High blood pressure. Extreme levels of bad cholesterol and being overweight are all factors that increase the risk of developing heart disease. Um, you can change your stress levels. Stress can increase your risk for hypertension because of hormones that you release. It also increases your likelihood to smoke if you're inclined to smoke, which is a major factor to developing cardiovascular disease. Alcohol consumption is another thing that you can change. Drinking too much can contribute to higher blood pressure, heart failure, and risk of stroke. Another thing that you can do to change is diet and nutrition. Poor diet, nutrition, and poor portion control often lead to hypertension, being obese, and high cholesterol levels. Consuming too much sodium especially contributes to developing hypertension. Eating healthfully, on the other hand, can actually reduce the development of risk factors they're connected with heart disease. Risks that you cannot change. You can't change your heredity. It's your responsibility to know if your family members have had heart disease before. Having heart disease in your family doesn't mean you will have heart disease, but it increases your chances. So develop a healthy lifestyle. Gender. Men are at a greater risk than women to develop coronary heart disease before the age of 55. But after the age of 55, it evens out between the genders. After women go through menopause, their risks increase. Increasing age. The older you get, the higher your risk for coronary heart disease. 80% of people who die from coronary heart disease are 65 years or older. Prevention. The best things you can do for your heart are eat healthfully, exercise, refrain from smoking, and reduce your stress levels. Now let's talk about diet. Uh, diet is especially important, and it's especially important to um, limit your sodium intake to about 1.5 teaspoons daily, as this will decrease your chance of developing hypertension. You should also avoid consuming high amounts of saturated fat, which can lead to an increase in blood and cholesterol levels. Avoid drinking a lot of alcohol, or do not drink at all. Exercise. Exercise is important at least to do at least three to five times a week for 30 minutes or more. The 
more vigorous the exercise, the better. But just don't overdo it. Constantly exercising throughout the course of your life is necessary to keeping your heart healthy. And stress. Stress. Um, if you're stressed out, find a relaxation technique that works for you. Try exercising or meditating. And checkups. All set annual checkups, especially if you know that a certain disease runs in your family. We need you to prevent cardiovascular disease.